2023 sees the mark of IVA's 10th birthday, and I can't believe how quickly the time has flown since we founded IVA. So over the next 10 days, we are going to be sharing a little bit about IVA, a bit of behind the scenes, our favourite stories and our favourite memories from the last 10 years as we get ready to celebrate our 10th anniversary. So today I'm talking about our origin story. So back in 2013, all those years ago, the founders of IVA were all together in a previous organisation and had been so for many, many years. And it was becoming apparent that that organisation was destabilising and potentially was going to end up falling apart. So an opportunity arose for us to branch off and form our own organisation. So in March 2013, we decided that we were going to form the Institute for Vocal Advancement, although back then it was known as the International Institute for Vocal Advancement, which is quite the mouthful. And we very quickly dropped the international to make it much easier to refer to. And because that other organization was destabilizing and falling apart, we had a very short window to try and found IVA and get those teachers to come and join us that were in that previous organization. So we had about six weeks to found and form IVA and get it up and running. So as you can imagine, there were a lot of very long days. I remember working 18 hour days, six days a week, trying to get everything that needed to be done because everything needed to be done. We were basically starting from scratch. So we were trying to decide what the education was, what education would be taught at what level, how we would recognize previous learning. And then even without any of that, we needed the business systems to make the business run. And then we had all the technical requirements for running a program like this. So we had to design and build a dashboard that would manage all our teachers and all their education so that we could monitor and track people's progress. So there was a whole load of stuff going on and it was just this busy hive of activity for six weeks. And then finally on April 29th, we opened our doors and welcomed teachers from the previous organization into our business. And we were blown away when 150 people signed up overnight and it was just incredible. We just, I remember waking up on the Monday morning and checking my emails and the inbox was just full of all these teachers who had applied and joined us. And it was just, it was such a wonderful feeling and it really validated everything that we had really worked hard for for the last six weeks. And then shortly after that, we opened our program to student teachers and welcomed new people into our organization that had never studied on a program like ours before. And we had a great response and signed up lots of teachers over the rest of 2013 to that program. But 2013 was also a great year for us in terms of everything that we were able to achieve. We managed to put on webinars with teachers around the world. We established an area representative program where we had people in specific regions around the world who were responsible for managing and helping to support teachers in their area. We put on two mini three-day conferences, one in the UK for teachers in Europe, which was live streamed around the world. And we put this conference on for three days with around 50 teachers who joined us. And that was a lot of fun, a lot of hard work again, but it was lovely to see our teachers and get to meet them in person since starting IVA. And then about a month later, we did a second three-day mini conference, but this time in Utah, and I got the pleasure of flying out to Utah to help run that conference. And we had a lot of fun and we made some great friendships and just really started to solidify IVA as an organization and for what the future would entail. So yeah, 2013, what a year, so busy, but so much was achieved. And it just really was just starting to touch the tip of the iceberg as to what IVA would go on and do in the next nine years. So follow us along over the course of the next 10 days when we will be sharing all these stories and memories and behind the scenes of IVA. And then on May 1st, we are inviting all our teachers from around the world to share their stories and memories using the hashtag IVA10. So join me tomorrow, I will be talking about 2014 and sharing a little bit more of our favourite stories and memories.